Nobody likes a flake. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And welcome back to another video where this week we are talking about how to be a better person. And in this video, we are going to be talking about accountability. Accountability to others as well as yourself. This is huge and I can't stress this enough. This was probably one of the most life-changing things that I did for myself by taking responsibility, holding myself accountable, and showing up when and where I said I was going to show up. So do me a favor and share this video. Even if you don't think this is gonna help you, I hope you share this video so others who are flakes will learn something from this because we all got that one friend. We all got that one friend. So anyways, let me start out by saying this. Back in the day, I was the least accountable person that you would ever meet. I often say when talking about my past before I was held accountable or hold, held myself accountable, I lived in a world of maybe, okay? When people ask me, do, hey Chris, do you wanna come to my party? Maybe. Hey Chris, do you wanna come out here? Maybe. Hey Chris, will you show up here? Will you do this? Will you help me out with that? Maybe. Because living in this world of maybe, I felt that by saying maybe, it always gave me an easy out. So that way if I didn't show up, I would be like, well, I never said yes. Nobody likes maybe. Like think about like the Facebook invitations that you sent out. Like if you've ever organized an event on Facebook, like do you like maybes? Do you like, well, I have a bunch of people saying maybe. Nobody likes that stuff. But for me, maybe usually meant a no, all right? But I had a big people pleasing problem and I didn't wanna just say no, okay? And I'll touch on that a little bit later in this video for all you people pleasers out there. But like, the thing about accountability is, is that I, I mentioned in the last video, I like to go into self-pity, right? Oh, the whole world's against me. Don't people understand? Woe is me, da 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 da. Why is everybody so mean to me and stuff like that? Like when I started being accountable, when I started doing things and showing up, like it's amazing how few problems I had. It's amazing how much better my relationships got. It's amazing that people actually knew that they could count on me. And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe this is my fault. Maybe it was my fault the whole time. Maybe I shouldn't have been living in the world of maybe. Like I make it such a big deal to be accountable today. I live in a world today where people know that they can count on me. And the people I surround myself with, I hope, I hope, and they do, I hope they call me out when I flake on them, when I say I'm gonna do something and I don't. Like, I apologize to you guys when I say, hey, I'm doing a video, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I don't. Like yesterday, I apologized. I'm like, hey, didn't feel like making a video, told you I was making a video, sorry about that. Like, I apologize for it because that's a huge deal. I want people to call me out on this stuff. And like, I know a lot of my accountability issues, they come back from my childhood. And I will do topics about how your, your childhood really affects you as a, an adult. Like we often say it, but I don't think, I really don't think people understand how much it does. So growing up with a, a, an alcoholic mom, growing up with a dad who gave me a lot of maybes, my dad also taught me to always be flexible, which is a good thing, but it also gave him room to let me down sometimes. But he, it was very rare that my dad did that. But anyways, my mom did especially. Like when you are when you have an alcoholic parent, like they don't come through a lot and I couldn't count on them. I couldn't count on them like ever, right? And it's something that I work really hard on with my son, like really, really hard. My son knows that he has a father where I make damn sure that I come through on all of my promises, every single one that I possibly can. Now, things come up. Things happen, like where I'll tell my son, hey, we're gonna go here, and then like a work thing happens and stuff like that. But here's what I, I hope to get through to all of you, and this isn't just with your kids, it's with your friends and family. When you become more accountable, when you show up, like when stuff happens, they let it slide. Like they don't mind, like they understand, they're like, whoa, like this, this guy or this girl always shows up, like this must really be an emergency. And my son, even though he's only nine years old, he gets that, he understands that. I'm on call almost 24 seven for my clients who leave rehab and they're struggling and stuff. I can remember just a few weeks ago, I was supposed to take my son somewhere and somebody called me and they were in a bad place and they were struggling and I was like, hey bud, I'm sorry, I really gotta take care of this. And he completely understands because he knows. And like, man, I'm telling you, 
I'm telling you, when I make my son a promise, like I go above and beyond. I'm talking about we have driven all over the city looking for a Lego that I promised him because if a store doesn't have it, it's not my son's fault. You know what I mean? But like, I don't like using that example because it, it, it might come off and I hope it doesn't, it might come off like I spoil my son or things like that. But I also set boundaries with him. And by the way, setting boundaries is a video coming up later this week. Let's go back to the last video I made, okay? About uselessness and usefulness okay this is a huge one so how many times have you been having a bad day a rough day and you completely flaked out on your commitments right like let me tell you this follow through no matter what I don't care what happened to you I don't care if you got fired I don't care if the boy or the girl broke up with you I don't care follow through and here's why here's why it is a surefire way to help bring you out of that slump. And there is neuroscience to back it up. When you do the things that you're committed to doing, science has proven, and this is why you set goals, science has proven that it actually helps create serotonin and dopamine. And another great way to get out of your self uh, pity and all these other negative thoughts is to go and help other people out. So say, let's say fictional scenario, you're planning on helping somebody move, right? And then all of a sudden something bad happens to work and you want to go home and sulk and veg out and da, da 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 no you go help them move because by helping that person you're going to feel so so much better and it is guaranteed follow through no matter what and accountability is a huge thing like somebody made a comment the other day about my social life and i just laugh like i don't have much of a social life aside from like my son and my girlfriend um we went to visit my friend but that was the first time i've seen her in like a year and things like that like let me tell you, accountability is such a huge deal to me that I don't have many friends because so many people are flakes. Like, I just wish people would follow through. I, I have so many people in my life and maybe it's just the, peop the company I keep, I don't know. But a lot of people fall through. There's been so many events that I do for mental health and things like that. And I'll get a bunch of people comment on Facebook. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. And like nobody shows up. And I'm just like, huh, like it is a, is a real big judge of character when people fall through and you know this. And one of my biggest things that I try to avoid is being a hypocrite. Okay. So like, I can't expect other people to hold themselves accountable to me if I can't hold myself accountable to them. It's a huge deal. This will help you build healthier, stronger relationships when people know that they can rely on you. Now listen, 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 listen. We're all gonna fall short, okay? We're all going to miss things, we're gonna show up late, things are gonna happen, cars are gonna break down and stuff like that. That's cool, nobody expects you to be 100% there 100% of the time, okay? But here's the thing, apologize. Apologize for it. Hey, I'm really sorry about that, okay? Don't make excuses, make an explanation. But just understand, like have some empathy, understand it might make people upset. And don't try to defend yourself and things like that. Say, hey, sorry, circumstances didn't allow it. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing worse than somebody flaking and then giving you like a mile of excuses. Like I deal with it literally on a weekly basis. On a weekly basis, I do this weekly thing for my job and I get text messages from like a dozen people who are like, hey, can't make it because of this, hey, can't make it because of that. And I just sit back and laugh. It's it's almost like the old like, my dog ate my homework type deal. It's like, I just don't even want to hear it. You know what I mean? So if I don't want to hear it, what makes me think that other people want to hear it from me? You know? So if you fall short and you can't make something that you committed to, apologize, okay? Whether that person forgives you or not, that's completely up to them. But lastly, a huge part of this thing and holding yourself accountable, when you make this some like a, a staple in your life, like you got to start saying no. If you don't wanna go somewhere, say no. If you don't wanna do that thing, say no. Be honest with this, these people. I guarantee they will respect you a lot more. Now, there is a balance, like if you just say no all the time, you know what I mean? But <clears throat> for all you people pleasers out there, this is gonna be very, very difficult. I get it, I get it. I don't like telling people no, right? But my life got better when I started just telling people no, like, no, I think I'm just gonna hang out this weekend, you know what I mean? But like, it, I try to find a balance where if I, if I tell somebody no on something, I try to make up for it, like, 
I, you know, say a friend invites me to go do something, I'm like, no, it's been a rough week. I just want to relax this weekend. But hey, how about we go grab coffee next week? You know what I mean? Because people like to spend time with you. People care about you. People might miss you and things like that. But start setting that boundary and saying no, okay? If people get wildly offended by it, like, Remember, that's their issue, it's not yours, okay? So start practicing saying no, just don't say no all the time because I've said it a billion times in these videos before. Isolation makes oppression and anxiety worse, okay? So start working on saying no, please. It's much, people would much rather you say no than flake on them, let me tell you. So just say no. All right, but anyways, again, please do me a favor and share this video if you think it'll help somebody else out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Click that little round subscribe button. And a big thank you once again to everybody supporting me over on Patreon. And if you would like to help support the channel on Patreon and what I'm trying to do here, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Be accountable, and I'll see you next time.